Hello friends, welcome to Vafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 58th video or sorry 59th video in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to query delta format tables. Okay, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, which is part 58th, where I discussed about delta format and also creating a spark table with a delta format. So please that watch that video because this video is kind of continuation to the previous video. Not only that, if you can watch 55, 56 and 57th videos, that will be even more beneficiary. So I hope you guys have, you guys will watch the 58th video and come here. If you haven't also, we will anyways understand if you see the full video. So basically querying the Delta Lake files or Delta format files or Delta format tables uh, using the Synapse uh, serverless SQL pool capability. So that's what we are going to discuss in this video. So let me go to Synapse workspace. This is my Synapse workspace. And uh, in this workspace, uh, if I go to the data menu, in our previous video, we have actually created uh, this uh, uh, MySpark DB. Let me zoom and show you. We have created this uh, MySpark DB, which is a lake database. And also inside that, we have created a table called persons delta table which is actually a delta format table. That means behind the scenes for this table, we have files in delta format. Now when I say files in delta format, if I go to demo container and this from where this container is coming, this is the container or the IDLS account container, which I have connected with my Synapse. You know this from the previous video. And when we navigate under demo container, Synapse workspace, then your workspace folder, data versus, there you see folder with your database name and then there will be a folder for your spark table as well. We have seen this as well in the previous video. And if I go inside that folder, I see a couple of Farcat files and also I see there is something called delta underscore log folder. So this log folder defines that it's a delta format. The entire person's delta folder contains data in delta format. This log folder will contain transactions uh, so that uh, whenever you perform updates, deletes and inserts, you can clearly see that transaction logs as well. The transaction logs we haven't discussed that. We will discuss in our upcoming videos. But basically, if you have seen my previous video, we kind of created a table with a delta format. And when you created it, you see this transaction log folder. And then once you created that table, you were able to update, delete and insert rows as well. That acid transformations of what the capabilities you have in the SQL, the same capabilities were available in the Delta as well. But when we did the same Spark tables with the Parquet format and CSV formats, we, we are not able to update the records. We are not able to delete the records. The reason is those are files. Those are not like traditional tables. So you cannot do that updates and deletes and everything. But in the Delta format, it is very much possible. We have discussed that in our previous videos as well. So now uh, this table, whatever we are seeing here, persons Delta, it's a table which contains Delta format behind the scenes. So if you want to query this table uh, from the notebook, what you can do, you can see so this is a notebook which connected with a Spark pool and selected Spark SQL as a default language. So I written a query to query the same table using the Spark SQL. And once this query executes successfully, we will actually able to see the data behind the Delta format as well. So I am doing this from the Spark notebook, right? So from the Spark note, I am able to run it. So that makes sense. And we have seen that in the previous videos as well. But using the serverless SQL also, you can run it. So there is a, a close bonding between serverless SQL and the Delta formats or lake database tables. So because of that, you, using serverless SQL as well, you, you can query it. So that's what we are going to discuss in this video. Now you can see we were able to query from the Synapse notebook. That means using the Spark, we are able to query. This is clear. So now let's try to go to development menu. Let's hit new and let's hit create the SQL Server script. And here we are connected our notebook with a built-in SQL Server, which is serverless pool. If you have watched my previous videos of the Synapse playlist, you know that. And right now, uh, if you click this drop down of the use database here, if you closely observe, you can see your Spark, the lake database as well. So why we are able to see the lake database as well? Uh, these are the SQL databases. If you create uh, some logical SQL database on the serverless 
SQL, then even that will come. But we are able to see the lake database as well. So that is the reason uh, since the Synapse uh, team has created a bonding or a relation between this uh, lake databases and this serverless SQL. So it is that means indirectly we can query the data in the lake databases as well. And our delta format table, which is person's uh, uh, delta table, is there in the lake database. So I can query it basically. So if I try to do this, if I try to execute this like a select, so let me write a query select star from then from my spark db my spark db take the person's delta table and try to execute this so what i did select star from my spark db person's delta table right so now let's try to execute this query so let me hit this run button to execute this and see whether we were able to uh, uh, query it or not okay so object name is invalid okay so i think we have to give the fully qualified name here actually so what we have to use it in this db it would have created a schema called dbo in that schema this table will be there so let me hit this run button now now we should be able to query that uh, delta format table as well so that means behind the scenes it has a delta and even the delta table we are able to query you can see under results i am able to see my results as well so using the serverless sql you can actually query the lake database tables as well that indirectly you can query the delta format as well so here it's in a lake database as a table format but what if if you have some data in delta format without creating any spark table on top of it so like how you have uh, spark files csv files json files on the storage account let's say you have a folder with a delta format directly on the lake storage and you don't have you haven't created any table on top of it whether still it is possible to query yes it is possible using the open row set function i will show you that how it is so firstly let's go to our notebook uh, let's go to our container and here let's navigate to demo container and we have a folder called data inside this folder I will create some data which is with a delta format. First, let's try to create the data. So let me go to notebook. In the notebook, let me write some, some queries here. So I want to write in a PySpark language. So I'm using a magic command called PySpark. And here I will try to create a data frame, a dummy data frame with some sample data. So let's assume here it's a data ID and a name column. Let's assume and let's try to create one more tuple. So if, if you have seen my PySpark videos, you know that how to create these data frames using the PySpark and all. So I am not explaining this right now. I am directly writing the query. So I am creating two variables. Both will hold the list. This is list of tuples, which will which is actually your data, your rows. And here like it's a schema. So like column names for your data frame. Okay. So I am using two column names. Now once it is done, what I can do, I can say like spark dot create data frame so let me hit spark dot create data frame okay so for this data frame i can give my data and schema variables as parameters this will create the data frame so let me keep the data frame in a variable called df and then here data frame dot show just to show just to see the data frame whether we are able to uh, create the data frame with two rows or not successfully so let's wait for this uh, cell to execute here and watch the results once the data frame gets created successfully what i do i will take this data frame and i will write this data frame to the gen2 storage with delta format so once i write data in delta format to the storage we will see how the folder and files look like and then that data we will try to read our query using the serverless sql to make to make a sense like sql is able to query it so we have the data frame so now let's try to uh, write this data frame to our storage so let's use this magic command again because i want to write a code in uh, spicepark since my notebook default language is sql i should use this magic command now on top of this data frame let me use write and then i can uh, try to give the format so write in this format so which format i want to write i want to write in a delta format and then try to save the data into some location so that location i want to give so if i go to here so let's right click on this file go to properties and let's take this data folder path so i am taking the data folder path this abffs 
path then go to our notebook and here use that path so under data folder let's assume i want to have a delta folder in which i want to have the emps folder in which i have to create this data as a delta format so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell as well so once the cell execution completes we should see data on our gen 2 with the delta format so how to tell if any data is a delta format if i go to that folder if you see delta log subfolder that means it's uh, might be written in a delta format only so let's wait for this command to okay it's executed successfully if i go back here and then if i try to refresh this data folder i should see data delta folder if i go inside the delta folder emps folder so this is like a delta format folder how i can tell if i go inside that emps folder i see this transaction log and i see my data is uh, created with a spark format here okay so delta behind the scenes use the parquet files only but it will have the delta log transaction folder as well okay so this we know it so now if let's uh, if you want to uh, query that delta format uh, using the uh, spark notebook itself the synax notebook itself you can do very well so what you can do firstly let's use the magic command like pyspark and then here we will use spark dot read dot load and then here we should give the path of the delta format root folder so let me take this path okay and let me keep that here and then i should also tell what is the format so format is going to be delta so let's tell that as well now if i uh, this entire thing will create a data frame so on top of it i will use the show function to display the results so let's execute this cell and you can see i am able to read the delta format directly using the notebook using the spark capability this is fine but now the same delta folders or delta path i want to query directly using the serverless sql is that possible yes it is possible actually so what you can do it here is so go here and let's try to run like select star from and use the open row set function okay so open row set function and to the open row set function there will be a keyword called bulk for which you have to give the path path of your uh, root folder of the delta format then you should mention format equals to you should maintain it as a delta so you should tell it's a delta format and then give the root folder path of the delta format data and then here let's try to say it like results and if i select this query and if i hit this run button it should actually uh, create a uh, see it is able to query my delta format files very easy right so this is the beauty of the uh, delta format uh, once you have the data in the delta format even the sql capabilities serverless sql capabilities you can use to query the delta format data directly so that way you can that means indirectly your reporting tools like power bi and all can directly connect to delta tables or delta format uh, and try to execute the SQL queries directly and fetch the results accordingly to do your visualizations on the report. So this is the great capability uh, which Delta format has using the SQL uh, capabilities. You can query the Delta format as well. So we have seen both the examples. This is the way to query directly from the Delta tables, okay, which are there in the lake database. If you have, if you haven't created a table on top of the Delta format, if your data is in delta format only directly on the storage then use the open open row set function and then try to query that data from the sql itself using the server serverless sql not dedicated sql so dedicated sql will not have this support at this moment thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much